Well, one term U.S. Senator Rick Scott was trying to win his second term tonight. He also has ambitions of replacing Mitch McConnell as the Republican leader in the Senate. To do that, though, he had to be reelected. Rick Scott does win that second term. He beat Democrat Debbie McCarcel Powell 56 percent of the vote to 43 percent. Congressman Neil Dunn of Panama City is going back to Washington for his fifth term. The Bay County Republican beat out his challenger, Democrat Yen Bailey, by nearly a two to one margin. Dunn got 62 percent of the vote to Bailey's 38 percent. Dunn was first elected to the second congressional district seat in 2016. First congressional district incumbent Matt Gates was reelected by about the same margin. The Okaloosa County Republican picked up 66 percent of the vote to beat his Democratic challenger, Gabe Alamont, who received 34 percent. Gates's father, Republican Don Gates, will be going back to Tallahassee. Gates won the state Senate seat for District 1, beating Democrat Lisa Newell by a 65 to 35 margin. And Gates already served two terms in the Florida Senate from 2006 to 2016, and he was Senate president from 2012 to 2014. And in Senate District 3, Republican incumbent Corey Simon successfully defended his seat from Democratic challenger Daryl Parks. Now, this was a pretty heated campaign, but Simon does win by an 8% margin of victory. All of the state representative seats were up for election this year, and that includes first term District 6 House member Philip Griff Griffiths of Bay County. The Republican faced a challenge from Democrat Jerry Weish, and Griffiths won easily, picking up 76% of the vote to Weish's 24%. Griffiths wins by a 3 to 1 margin. News 13's Riley Lehman is live in our studios now. And Riley, what does Griffiths want to do with his next two years? Amy Griffiths celebrated his victory tonight at Christo's restaurant with friends and family. He says that during his next term, he will fix insurance for residents with help from the state. And he will work with the chief financial officer, Jimmy Petronas, on consumer protection bills. Griffiths says he will focus on hurricanes and debris hauling, since two major hurricanes hit the state within the last few months. He was the Bay County Commission chairman during Hurricane Michael and says debris hauling is a major issue. He wants to help the Central Florida Tampa and Tampa Bay area, which is still cleaning up after two major storms. Our history with Hurricane Michael and my history as chairman of the commission back then with the debris haul, uh, I think that will be a conversation that we have as well. But there's a lot to be happening that will happen in Tallahassee over the next few months. Um, session doesn't actually start until March of next year, so we've got some time to get some, some things ready. So uh, there'll be a lot of important legislation coming up these next two years. Griffiths also hopes that the Republican Party will carry the right amendments forward and says the Florida Constitution is too easily amended. He has previously voiced his support for Amendment 3 and opposition for Amendment 4. Griffiths believes he has represented Bay County well over the past two years and is ready to do that, th that again in his second term. News 13's Riley Lehman live in our studios tonight. Thank you, Riley.